Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and in this video we are going to see how we can add control over date range and reflect data of a chosen specific time frame in our dashboard. So this date range control is a customizable calendar widget that lets you adjust the time frame of a report without editing the configuration. So right now the date selection is from 1st July 2022 to 30th November 2022. And you can see over here the number of stocks and this chart is showing data based on this date selection as well as this graph is showing the data based on this date selection. Now if you want to check that whether this graph is actually showing data from 1st July 2022 to 30th November 2022, you can see over here within this graph the first date is 1st July and last value is 30th November 2022. Now if I want to change my dates what I can do is that I can select the dates from 1st of August till 31st of October then ideally what should happen is that this chart should reflect data based on this selection of date as well as the scorecard that I have over here which I'll show you once I'll click apply will also reflect the data for this date range and this graph should reflect data based on this date range. So let's click on apply and you can see that the scorecard has a new value based on this date selection. Similarly, this chart and graph has data reflecting based on this date selection. Now you might be thinking that how you can add this date range control, right? So to add a date range control to a report, at least one of the data sources attached to the report must have date dimension date range control only affect the charts built on that specific data sources this means that you have to make sure that the data source from which we are creating this date range control should be the similar to the data or data source from which we are creating the other charts then only the charts which you are using in your report will reflect the data based on the date selection of this date range control so the next question that should be in your mind is that how you can add a date range control to your report so let's go and see how we can add it and then we'll also see how date range control works in a report and at last we'll also see how we can make a date range control appear on every page so first of all what i'm going to do is that i'm going to click on edit over here so that i can edit this page where i'll delete this date range as well as i will go to the second page and i'll delete this date range also now on both of these pages I do not have my date range control. In order to add a date range control first of all what you need to do is that you need to go to toolbar within toolbar you need to click on this add a control then you will see this date range control over here the second last option if you click on it then looker will allow you to add a date range control on your page you can add it anywhere in your report so let's add it over here right now the moment you add it you can start setting the default date range or leave it to the auto date range from here you can select the default date range that is the by default selection of looker or you can go and select the specific dates that you want so you have multiple dates like fixed date if you select fixed date then you have to add a start date and an end date similarly you have last seven days so this will always select the last seven days and there is another option to include today then including today you will have seven days value selection in your date range control the next option that we have is last 14 days last 28 days last 30 days today yesterday there are n number of options which is available over here within this date range control which you can select so let's go and select auto over here auto date range so that whenever a user comes to your dashboard they can select the date range based on their selection now let's click on apply so in your date range within setup you will just have this default date range then if we go to the style of this section then you will see that the first option that we have is date range picker now if you want to change the font color of this date range picker you can change it from here and you can change the font size from here then we have a header if you have a header for this date range you can change the header font color 
and header color also so let's change the header color as yellow if you want to change the label of this header then you can change it from here right now the next option that we have is the background and border if you want to change the background color of this state range control you can change it from here if you want to add border radius you can select border radius from here this is the opacity so if you want to change the opacity you can select it from here and if you want to add border color you can add from here let's select red color and border weight as 4 from here then if you want to change the border style you can change border style from here let's select double and if you want to add border shadow for your date range control you can tick this section the last option within style is this padding if you want your looker to automatically start adding some space in left side as well as right side on the top as well as on the bottom of the text you can select this else what you need to do is that you need to select the central so this central vertically will be selected by default if you want to change it or you want to put your own padding then you have to give the values manually over here in the left right top and line height but i would recommend to select this center vertically so that whenever your dashboard gets opened either in a small screen or on a larger screen then you do not have to worry about the padding of the date range control now let's get back to our second question that we mentioned in the beginning of this video and the question was how date range control works in your report so what happens is that when you add this date range control it lets you select the dates you want to see in the report so if i just want to select data from let's say 2021 january 1st till today which is 14th of january 2023 and if i apply it then you will see that all your data within this dashboard will reflect for these dates you can actually define a custom date range by choosing the start and end date or you can select from a list of predefined ranges which i had shown you like last seven days yesterday today last quarter year to date and so on based on your selection so when you select the dates then in back end the looker basically filter out the record or data based on your selection and reflects the data over here on your dashboard reports now let's talk about the last and important topic that how we can make a date range control appear on every page so right now this date range control is appear on one of the pages right if i go to page two you will see that it's blank now suppose that you have n number of visualization widgets which is distributed in multiple pages and you want this date range control to appear on all of those pages so to do that first of all we need to select this date range control first then you will simply right click on it and then you will click on this make report label once you click on it make report label what will happen is that if your report has 5 10 20 pages this date range control will appear on all of those pages and whatever the date that you have selected over here okay so let's select 2022 or 2021 january 1st till january 1st of 2023 so the date which you have selected over here will also appear on the second pages or the n number of pages that you have selected so this way looker helps you to select date on the first page or any of the page based on your requirement and all of the data within your dashboard within your report for all of the pages will start reflecting based on the selection of your date so this is how you can add and work with date range control in looker or data studio dashboard happy learning and see you in the next video